I haven't done modelling in a while, so it was good to kind of you know, get back in there and see if I still had the, had the Zoolander down. <laughs> hey guys, I'm David Jennett. I'm a model, presenter and actor. And today we're going to look at my Instagram photos. <laughs> ah, first trap. Yeah, I remember that very well. I was shooting for Mario Testino a lot. He's a very big fashion photographer and uh, he likes to get you naked. So that's what I did. The towel has actually had a much better career than I have, which is kind of embarrassing, but that towel has been on some very uh, famous people's parts. So I'm in good company. <laughs> He's done Ronaldo, soccer stuff. There's, a, there's, a, there's, some, there's some big privates involved in that project. Oh yeah, I love that photo. So I had just come back to Australia. I was the winner of Survivor. They were calling me the golden god. So I thought I'd better dress the part. Well, being the golden god is more a state of mind than anything else. I was just trying to be as loud and big and obnoxious as I could on, uh, on Survivor. So that's what I went with. Okay, now this is a good picture because that one actually means a lot to me. My wife has autoimmune disease and the Garvin Institute does a lot of research in relation to autoimmune uh, issues, specifically lupus and genetic coding to try and figure out how to solve that disease. So I was representing those guys on Celebrity Apprentice. Yeah, I mean, that's, that's a good one. That's I mean, quite a heartfelt photo for me. Although I'm not really a doctor. <laughs> well, you talk about the golden god. I got to know Camilla really well on Celebrity Apprentice and I had a long fashion career. I did a lot of runway shows. I probably hadn't done one in about 10 years because I was, you know, a bit past my use by date. But Camilla, once we kind of bonded on the fashion thing, was you have to open my show at Fashion Week this year and, well, I thought it was quite a fitting outfit. <laughs> oh, look at this, said a suave. Yeah, my friends at Linney's, actually I'm wearing one of their pieces right now. I've been working for those guys for about two decades and they were having their 50th anniversary and they were like, listen, man, you shot about five or six campaigns for us. I know you're a bit old now, but do you want to come back and be the face of the 50th? And yeah. That's a conversation I for think a we're all yeah, well, I wasn't trying to it? Well, I actually studied acting before I did reality TV. So my background was I studied theatre and then I went into film and television and then I won Survivor. So my role in the film, I'm a carer for someone that has mental health issues. It's a great film and I really enjoyed being a part of it. I think acting for me is always something that um, I've wanted to do and then be a part of films and stuff. I just finished my first kind of feature film, which was nominated for Best uh, Independent Feature at the Actors. Yeah, look, Instagram for me is a bit of a love-hate relationship because I'm quite a private person, really. Like, I don't like to post too much stuff about my family. I think also some of the people that are fans of the shows I've done <laughs> can be quite intense sometimes. So, look, a bit of a love-hate relationship with Instagram. I do love it because it's such a great way to connect with fans, but I also feel like sometimes a bit too much over information overshare. So I get in there and, and I'll clean it out every couple of years just to reset what we're doing or to highlight important projects or stuff I'm interested in. Yeah, I had a, I had a fan come up to me one time. I posted somewhere, I was on Instagram at a bar and uh, she came out wearing a t-shirt with my face on it. So I thought, oh, that's pretty intense. I mean, it was great. She actually ended up being lovely, but when someone <laughs> walks up to you in a bar and is like, ah, yeah. Not quite sure what to do with that at first, but she ended up being quite nice, thankfully.